Hey. The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. That was really strange. Am I gonna say thanks? Whatever. Whatever. You're welcome. Whatever. Hello, Black Hell. I forgot that she used to go here. Strange. Oh my god. Let's check it out. We are black. We are we are back at Blackwell Academy. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Elliot. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you wanna go together tomorrow? No, I don't. Me and Amber are, me and Rachel Amber are official. Don't fuck with this. No way. <laughs> I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, I guess. All no. right. See you no. in the cam. Yeah, for Lesbian sure. Lesbian or bust. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know he's trying to hit on you, but not interested. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Okay, picnic tables. Okay, cool. Skip. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Badass. Yeah, you know how I roll. That's where she used to park her truck. <laughs> so, you spending a lot of quality time with Justin's mom? <laughs> no. But if you see Justin, tell him I can only ignore that cloud of weed smoke for so long. Tell him yourself, Skip. Not my problem. I'm trying to do him a favor. I thought you high risks all stuck together. High risks? Oh, oh shit. Sorry. Forget I called you that. Huh. High wow. risks. Guess you can learn useful things in school. So, I went to the mill last night, cut Firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait, you saw Firewalk? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. This security officer I didn't know you were dope. in the music like that. <laughs> He's so cool. What, like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. <laughs> I'm in a band, actually. No He's shit. Cool. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to get Pisshead? our demo out there, but <laughs> it's hard. Pisshead, huh? Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Yeah, sure. Okay. Great. Let's hear it. Not bad. It's pretty good. Chemical problem gone wrong. Electrical deep fried storm. Say we got nothing. So, what did you think? It's pretty good. That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, 
Right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. Oh, I remember this, uh, this teacher, Miss Grant. Morning, Miss Grant. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Uh, let's be, let's be Science is all about <laughs> discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Maybe in another six months, a new donor will come along with money for, I don't know, more lasers. More lasers? Do we have any lasers? Sadly, no. That is sad. Oh, Being a teacher is hard. It's fucking hard. That's all I can say, man. I prefer to wake and bake, but hey, to each their own. I prefer to wake and bake, but hey, <gasps> but fire's so pretty. Uh, okay, Chloe, you pyromaniac. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Say no to drugs, kids. Say no to drugs. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. <laughs> That's awesome. Smoking in front of the no, no smoke sign. I like that she writes stuff on her arm. Like, she doesn't have Students a phone Students at Blackwell to have this hard instinct on. to glom up into little groups like sheep. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Just like any other prison. Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. <laughs> okay. Let's go hang out with Steph. Glad we can walk faster. Samantha. Let's hey, Chloe. Samantha. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's this? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but <laughs> the play was actually good. What did you like about it? It's funny. Uh, the title's actually a play on the song, Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? And that's... funny? It is, if you're the wolf. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. It's interesting, people like that, that just... They're always walking on eggshells. Don't be so nervous. Embrace life. Embrace life, dude. It's okay to fuck up.
Steph Gingrich and Mikey North, Blackwell's premier indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Okay. I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, Blade right? Runner. Keep it. I actually I was watched glad that someone here appreciates the classics. This game. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out Did last night, or was messenger? it just like a friend thing? Huh? People think that we're dating? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 She's hours not the only right now. Less though. So. In this school. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take like 20 minutes. What else have you got to do before class? Okay. Oh, what the hell? Let's do it. Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> oh shit, do I really have to play this? Do I really have to know what's going on? Nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know, I'm good. All right, let's get started. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Calamastia. I like that. Calamastia. <laughs> Super into it. He has Not a shirt that. that says cool story, bro. The two heroes. Wow. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscar. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. <laughs> you stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to uh. kill the Durg. Dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. How are they doing this with like three people like Where do you DDR? Wish to go? Not DDR. Like these types of games require a lot of people, right? So how are you doing this with like three people? I don't know. Whatever. Um uh... Let's it's go tent to the time. Warlord's tent. Are you sure you want to skip the training ground and the prison camp? Hell yeah. You heard me. Let's, Let's do the do boss it. battle. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of <laughs> the Black well. well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. 
Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I think I messed I got up this. by going here. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All uh. of my battle spells are fire-based. Calamastia? What'll it be? <laughs> oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation Strike! That sounds boss as fuck! One? Let's do it. That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly Oops. to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no. Three. Oh, your axe we're, strikes we're Elamon's so leg. Um, legs. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. I am so sorry. Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this Oops. was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp. 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 This is all my oh, I fault. Feel stop. I feel sort stop of. in my remote. What should I do? Jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, I will sacrifice thrusting myself. madly with his great sword. This is so awesome. Shit! I kind of oh, want to no. get into this now. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade. Lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. And we're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Swing for his head. I take oh, one fucker. last swing at Durg... Dur Durface's head. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. Hmm. Eleven. You swing, catching Durgeron on the side of his head, severing one horn. But you don't do enough damage to kill him. What an asshole! He laughs, then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. So mean. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgeron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. I guess I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. This is really fun. I wish I had tried that harder. Was fun. <laughs> Check out what I drew. It was fun. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Sorry I died and left you out there to like fend it. for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. <sighs> yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. have some friends DVD, here that are big check. into magic. Next stop, I feel like I chemistry class. Give it a try. Enjoy. This looks kind of fun. I've tried to like watch people play magic before and it was so complicated. I don't know if I can get into it. Okay, where do I go now? Let's go to the hallway. Is that where we need to go? I am not digging those shoes. <laughs> I really don't like What the shoes. hell? What have you got here? Twitch? Whoa! Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. 
This is what? some really Nathan weird Prescott crap, Prescott. Bullied? It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. What? Want to take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. Oh, shit. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece Don't do of that. shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! Wow. The only way to stop Let's a bully it. is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, Let's idiot. Do it. What the hell did you just say to me? Okay, let's hope that I do this right. <sighs> Leave. Now. You're actually standing up for Nathan Prescott? Congrats. You've actually got me feeling sorry for Arcadia Bay's most spoiled brat. That's how much of an asshole you're being right now. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. You have no idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. You want a piece of this? Oh, I doing this right? Oh, shit. Please. Kicking your ass is going to be a piece of cake. You think I this think is I'm funny? Getting this. I think I'm doing this right. You think I'm joking here? I think here? I'm doing this. Think? That's a fancy word for you, Drew. Careful with it. <gasps> I did it! I've got the hang of this. I've got the hang of this. Did you just laugh? Yes. I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Go Samantha. Oh, wow. She's growing some balls. Go Guess Samantha. you got lucky this time. Or Prescott. I should say some ovaries. She's growing some ovaries. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Damn. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking to up help for him. Nathan, what the hell? People think just because of his family, 